This 4x2 Ranger is equipped with a 2.3 liter turbocharged EcoBoost engine producing 270 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission. While I wasn't overly impressed with the performance of the Ranger, that's not to say that it wasn't fun for being a 2.3 liter EcoBoost. You definitely tell it was an EcoBoost. It made some pretty cool sounds and it was pretty responsive for what it is. And I actually got some decent gas mileage in the truck, about 21 MPG during my week with it, which is pretty good. The exterior appearance is probably my favorite part of the Ranger. It's a nice looking little truck, especially in the race red paint color. I really like the 17 inch magnetic painted aluminum wheels. And the fact that it's a lariat trim really helps. It is overall just really attractive. There wasn't really an angle that I disliked on the truck. It was nice to photograph. And I also really liked the optional uh, hard folding cover over the bed. The interiors where I'm a little mixed. The quality inside is nice, especially if you're wanting a truck for more than just hauling. It's comfortable and it's pretty quiet. Also having CarPlay and all that standard tech that you expect in purchasing a vehicle in the year 2020 is there, which is really nice. My biggest gripe is the lack of interior space in the rear for passengers. Yes, I understand that this is not a large truck, but anyone over 5'6 in the front cannot have a full-size adult sit comfortably behind them. If you're looking at getting a Ranger for more than just hauling and possibly driving in the dirt every once in a while, carrying a bunch of stuff, using it as a work truck, and you actually have family or friends that you drive around all the time, may want to look at a slightly larger truck, but otherwise it's not a bad choice.